Welcome to the mysterious world of the Komodo Dragon. The largest and most powerful lizard walking the earth today. A living relic from a prehistoric past. Surviving against all odds. Let's dive deep into the life of this ancient apex predator. This is the story of the Komodo Dragon. Komodo dragons are found in Indonesia. They live mainly on five islands. Komodo, Rinka, Flores, Gili Mortan, and Padar. These islands are dry, rugged, and covered with savanna and forest. The dragons prefer hot, tropical climates and lowland regions. They dig burrows or rest under rocks during the hottest parts of the day. Early morning and late afternoon are their favorite times to move and hunt. They are well adapted to their surroundings and rule the ecosystem without rivals. Komodo National Park protects these giants and their delicate habitat. A full-grown Komodo dragon can grow up to 10 feet long. They can weigh over 150 kilograms or more than 300 pounds. Their skin is covered in tough, scaly armor made of bony plates called osteoderms. They have long, muscular tails and strong claws used for digging and defense. Their forked tongue helps them detect smells in the air. With it, they can sense prey up to 4 kilometers away. Their vision is strong, and they can see objects as far as 300 meters. But their hearing is poor and only detects a limited range of sounds. Komodo dragons are carnivores and hunt both live prey and scavenge. They eat deer, pigs, water buffalo, birds, and even smaller dragons. Their bite is powerful, but what makes it deadly is their saliva. It contains toxic proteins and bacteria that weaken their prey over time. Contrary to earlier beliefs, they do not rely only on infection. Recent studies show they possess venom glands that help in killing. Komodo dragons stalk their prey quietly, then charge with great speed. They knock down their victim and wait as the venom takes effect. Patience is key. They may track wounded animals for hours or even days. Komodo dragons are solitary creatures. They come together only to mate or feed on large carcasses. At a kill site, there's a strict pecking order. The largest dragon eats first, followed by the smaller ones. Fights are rare but do happen, often decided by size and strength. Dragons communicate through body language and hissing sounds. They also display dominance by raising their bodies and standing tall. Though they seem slow, they can sprint at up to 20 kilometers per hour. They are also strong swimmers, moving between islands when needed. Komodo dragons mate between May and August. The male wrestles the female to win her acceptance. After mating, the female lays up to 30 eggs in burrows or abandoned nests. She guards the eggs for several months before leaving them. The eggs hatch after about 8 to 9 months. Hatchlings are about 40 centimeters long and extremely vulnerable. To survive, they climb trees and live in the canopy for safety. There, they eat insects, lizards, and small birds. As they grow bigger, they descend to the ground and shift to larger prey. Komodo dragons can live up to 30 years in the wild. Komodo dragons have a unique ability called parthenogenesis. It means females can produce offspring without mating. This helps in survival when no males are nearby. They also play a crucial role in the ecosystem by keeping prey populations balanced. Their digestive system is extremely efficient. 
they consume nearly every part of a kill, bones, hooves, and all. Only indigestible hair and horns are regurgitated later. Their sense of smell, strength, and strategy make them master predators. Komodo dragons are not just dangerous beasts. They are survivors from an ancient world, still walking among us. They are symbols of power, mystery, and raw nature. As humans, it is our duty to protect these rare and remarkable giants. For they remind us of the wild world we must strive to preserve. Komodo dragons are apex predators, but they are also vital scavengers. By consuming the dead and diseased, they help prevent the spread of illness. They keep populations of wild deer, pigs, and monkeys in check. Without them, the balance of their fragile island ecosystems could collapse. Even their leftovers become food for other animals, insects, birds, and smaller reptiles. Every part of the Komodo dragon's life feeds back into the web of life. They are not just hunters, they are essential caretakers of nature's balance. Despite their fearsome image, Komodo dragons are shy around humans. Attacks are rare, and most occur when the animals feel cornered or threatened. Local villagers have learned to live alongside them for generations. However, the growing number of tourists has brought challenges. Habitat disruption, pollution, and climate change threaten their survival. The dragons need space to hunt, nest, and roam freely. Education and responsible tourism are key to protecting both people and the species. Today, Komodo dragons are listed as endangered by the IUCN. Only around 3,000 to 5,000 remain in the wild. Indonesia has taken major steps to preserve these living fossils. The Komodo National Park was established in 1980 to protect their habitat. Strict rules limit human access to nesting sites and key ecosystems. Local communities are involved in conservation and benefit from ecotourism. Scientific research continues to uncover new facts about these ancient giants. Through global cooperation, we can ensure their future for generations to come. For centuries, local folklore has told tales of the dragon goddess. According to myth, she gave birth to twins, one human and one dragon. This legend reminds us of the deep bond between humans and Komodo dragons. They are not just animals, they are part of Indonesia's identity. Majestic, mysterious, and magnificent, the Komodo dragon lives on. A creature from the past, still ruling its wild island kingdom today.